Hi class, I have another question for you on this panoramic radiograph. My question is, can you determine the age of this patient? And how do you go about determining the patient's age? I think the first thing that you have to do is first visualize what are the permanent teeth that are present and also the primary teeth that have not yet exfoliated. Like you have to know, determine that first, right? And also this requires your overall understanding of the eruption pathway of the permanent uh, dentition. So that's what's required to do that. And let's go through this uh, panoramic radiograph. Um, there are many ways of obviously uh, determining the patient age but I generally like to visualize or recognize the position and eruption status of the first molars. For the time being we'll call this 6 year molar and second molars as 12 year molar. 6 year molars are erupted certainly not 12 and also look at the then I'd like to look at the central incisors both maxillary and mandibular incisors and that often gives me a very good idea of where patients are here the pretty much the central lateral incisors are fully erupted both in the maxilla and mandible mandibular canines are erupting nicely looks like uh, number 29 is slightly delayed in terms of its eruption relative to the contralateral side number 20 is fully erupted 29 still managing to erupt or in the process of erupting and interestingly if you look at the maxilla we're seeing the same pattern don't we number 13 is fully erupted however look at number four well isn't it interesting that it's slightly delayed just like what we see in the mandible so that may explain something about the uh, the eruption um, a sequence of the body right we would ide ideally like to see eruption occurring on both sides but in this case um, the eruption pattern seems to mimic uh, maxilla and mandible so there's a slight delay in the eruption in the right side compared to the left side and that is also true for the mandibular canine well, as for the maxillary canine, I think it's a little bit harder to tell. I think you could argue that the, the cusp tip of number 11 is ever so slightly lower than that of the number 6. But um, I think they are very, very close from one another, at least. Also, at this age, we're already starting to see the developing crowns of the third molars. And let's look at number 12, or 12-year molar, I should say. We are at the middle stage of the root development. Certainly, it has formed beyond the root uh, forcation with wide open APCs, and it's going to continue to grow uh, quite a bit more. So we're at the middle stage, so well short of age 12. Based on the fact that mandibular canines are erupting or nearly erupted, can you guess the patient's age? Are they closer to 6? Are they closer to 12? Or is this person closer to somewhere in the middle between the 6 and 12? So think about that for a second before I tell you the answer. Based on the eruption status, if you've said this patient is around 10 years of age, you're absolutely, you've absolutely nailed it. That is absolutely correct. This patient is 10 years of age. Based on the eruption status. Okay. But also chronologically, this patient happens to be 10 years of age as well. So that's it for me. Good job. I hope that was helpful and we'll see you again.